above where the thong's going to be sticking out with a new pair of jeans. I think buying coffee is just way too complicated. You have to learn languages to figure out the size. You have to learn geography to pick your bean. Now it's gone too far. You have to learn moral philosophy to decide on the ethical virtues of your coffee bean. There's a company in Vancouver that will promise you to save bears if you purchase their caffeinated beverage. That's fine, but what if you don't like bears? I mean, they're cute, but they'll think nothing of slashing your tin flap to steal your Doritos. What if you want to buy coffee where they promise you some out-of-work logger with his swilling a cocaine and his Winchester will pull out a gun and start shooting at bears? I'm just saying, actually, I don't drink coffee, so. Mm. My son in high school wants to study law. I thought, well, he's going to want to drive one day. He should know the law. He asked me for money for a textbook, so I said, okay. But what I don't understand is why he wants to do his research at the Vancouver Art Gallery. He wants to study one particular section of the law. Section 420 must be really important because I haven't seen him since April. <laughs> when you have black kids in a white neighborhood, they think it's their civic duty to be cool. So I find them in unusual attire and situations. <clears throat> you! Why are you wearing a bicycle lock chain around your neck? And why are there bullet hole stickers on your bicycle. And you, why are you wearing a bandana? And you are not straight out of Compton. You live in False Creek. You have $5,000 braces and a math tutor. And there's no chance in hell you're going to get shot at. At most, you'll get pecked at by a Canada goose. 
<laughs> Anybody else wonder what our soldiers are doing in Afghanistan? I mean, they build bridges and schools that get blown up, but the poppy fields stay intact. Why don't they just build the schools in the poppy fields? Or better yet, why don't they just leave the soldiers at home and buy the poppies, make methadone, and, oh, I don't know, use the money for drug rehab? Oh, pardon me, that was not a joke, actually. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how that non-joke slipped in through the joke border. I'll have to be more vigilant about these insidious little terrorist jokes. Thank you. Have a great night.